Tape Deck Media. Well, hello there, panel pickers. Welcome to a brand new issue of Panel Picks Podcast with me, your host, Dan Bublitz Jr., and your other host, Jeremy Plum. How's it going, Jeremy? Hey, pretty good. Cameo. <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a Billy cameo, Billy the Comic Cat. Uh, Billy the Billy the Comic Cat. Billy the Senior Comic Cat. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's checking over my list. And I think he likes most of it. <laughs> I think he likes most of it. Not enough X-Men. I get it. That's funny. I think you gotta move your mic a little closer though. Yep. Uh here we go. There we go. There we yep. go. Woohoo. Yes. Uh, not enough X-Men. I get it. Okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, there's some cool stuff. Did you read anything this week? I did, actually. I didn't, nice. well, I didn't read a whole... I actually did a throwback. Ooh. And I read um, uh, like a, a one-shot called... Um, or maybe it was a trade. I don't know. I mean, because it didn't seem as thick as a whole trade. So, But I read Genesis, which was this strange like trip it, it was by uh image comics and okay. it's about this guy who basically he he's led to believe that he 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 has a higher purpose and then doesn't feel like he has a higher purpose and so he tries to kill himself okay and then but then he survives and then discovers that he does actually have a higher purpose okay and, like very godlike purpose but he can't control it like it's like because it's just like everything like with everything good he ends up doing negative stuff like you yeah. can basically wish for anything and it's it was yeah it was it was a pretty trippy story nice okay Okay, kind of like, uh, kind of like if Bendis wrote Bruce Almighty. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, so I thought my my friend and uh, you know, um, other another comic comedian and comic book enthusiast has a comedians who love comic books podcast. Uh, Brett Singer. I thought he recommended it to me, but he doesn't remember recommending it to me. So <laughs> I don't know who recommended it to me, but somebody recommended me Genesis. Whoever it was, good call. I uh, like I said, I read it. And I really enjoyed it. So, and then I I was on the road this weekend. I brought a bunch of comics with me, but I ended nice. up not having time to read. So, Is, isn't that always the, the case? Yeah, but I always bring them just in case. I didn't yeah. go check out a comic book store though. Yeah, when I was down. Yeah, I went to. Um, oh man, what's the name of it? Something zombie. Um, really cool shop in Albuquerque. Um. Okay. Let me look it up real quick. I need to look it up quick. It was Astro Zombies is the Astro, name of it. Nice. I love that name. Yeah. Great name. A lot of great stuff in there. Um, I ended up finding a uh, Tick Bendy's, Bendy's kit. Uh, I saw that. Set. So it was like four characters. Uh, yeah. That's pretty stoked about you that. Had, it had Tick. It had Arthur. It had uh, America. Terror and Terror. Oh, terror! It had terror. Okay, I think that's who nice. the other one is. Yeah, nice. Yep. Awesome. That's yeah. Cool. So I was pretty stoked about that. Yeah. That little find. <laughs> nice. Uh, I didn't read much of note, so but yeah. I have been reading comic book news lately. Oh yeah. And there's been some good comic book news, uh, especially since you know I've been gushing about the all the new Ultimate line at Marvel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, I've been kind of, DC's doing it. DC's doing their own ultimate line. So they're doing their equivalent. Called Absolute DC, which, remember, I think we saw Absolute Power being released yep. uh, a little while back. That is a tie-in comic to their new oh, Okay, Absolute so that was kind of like a, probably like a, a prelude or like a, yeah. pre, like a preview type of thing. Yeah. Um, and it looks like it's Scott Snyder looks to be like the head of it, um, which is you know, Scott Snyder's done some amazing work for uh, 
for DC, especially in the early New 52 Batman stuff. Like he did the Court of Isles. He did when Joker had his you know face removed. Uh, he he makes some cool big choices, and it, that'll be fun to see. Um, but it's also going to be it looks to be writer and creative team like run just like early Ultimate Marvel back in the early 2000s, where like that was you know the team writing Spider Man that was their team, the team writing X Men that was just their book, and they were going for it. Uh, so I'm excited. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman at the beginning. Um, but yeah, well, it always is. <laughs> it, yeah, um, that's like I, DC's big three. <laughs> it's yep. Um, but I can't wait to see some weird stuff. Like, like again, some of the, some of the stuff that came out of Ultimate Marvel back 20 years ago was iconic. Like early mm -hmm. Ultimate X Men was super cool. It's, honestly, Spider Man, Ultimate Spider Man. No miss. I I I've, I didn't see many misses in that in that run. It's a good run. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, you know, speaking of that, you know what I have been doing since. Yeah. Uh, since I haven't been reading a lot, but I did. I have been keeping up on X Men ninety seven, and that I'm, last episode was fire. I heard. Oh I've heard good oh, things. I'm, oh my god! This, my, some of the best television oh. period. I think. I am two episodes behind. I need to watch it, and I am yeah. scared. I'm. You definitely need to get sad. caught up. It it yeah. is, but it's also really good. I also started watching Fallout, and I've I've is been it enjoying. It? I've been enjoying it. I'm like I, it's, I mean, I think I'm on like episode four, and so far yeah. I've been in, I've been enjoying it. What's your history with Fallout? Like I've played a little bit of Fallout One. I on played PC. Fallout. I played a lot of Fallout Three. Okay, on Xbox or nice. PlayStation. I don't remember one of the two. Um, but I played a lot of Fallout Three. Really. Okay. Really enjoyed it. Nice, nice. So, did you feel like if you if you're a casual Fallout fan, you can watch it? Because that's where I'm at. I think so. Yeah, I think if you're, I, I mean, I think even if you're not, if you never played the video game, I think you could still yeah. watch it and still enjoy it because Perfect. it's it's you know it's kind of a apocalyptic sci fi adventure. You know, nice. nice. So awesome. Uh, well, yeah, uh, the only bit of last bit of news I have is, uh, as a big Sonic the Hedgehog fan, uh, Keanu Reeves is the voice of Shadow the Hedgehog, uh -oh. um, the gun-toting hedgehog who kills government agents in the game, uh, is voiced by none other than John Wick. Uh, of course, why wouldn't I'm in, <laughs> I'm super in, uh, my, okay, dream, dream casting is just like Tails, it's it's your video game. It's your your VOs from the game, top tier. That's what I want. I heard that Hayden Christensen was rumored to be uh, Shadow, and I think I would have loved to see edgy Anakin Skywalker play Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but man, Keanu Reeves, yeah, let's do it. Let's get weird. Oh yeah, I think that'll that'll be good. Yeah, yeah. I think that's um, a good casting. Yeah, with Ben Schwartz. That's a that's gonna be some weird back and forth, uh, and Idris Elba. I actually really want to see Keanu Reeves and Idris Elba on any screen, really. <laughs> so, that'd be great. And is this this is what uh, part? Sonic the Hedgehog three, three, right? Okay, that's what I yeah. thought. wasn't one hundred percent sure. So I never really got into Sonic the Hedgehog uh, because I wasn't a Sega guy. I was, yeah. you know, Nintendo. So. You, I want to say you're missing out. And I mean, maybe uh, I am. I'm not saying on that certain things bad. you are. The Archie I comic mean, is weird, but fun. There are some uh, Sega. I did play some Sega. You yeah. Know? Like I played Beast Wars and yeah. a couple other like game, you know, other games like that. But I never got into Sonic. Well, uh, I, if any game gets ported over to any system, it's always going to be Sonic 1 and 2. So, yeah. <laughs> so you'll be good. Um, but yeah. Honestly, I'm excited. That's if if it's not, it's news for me, and that makes me happy. Darn it! No, and that's I. Hey, I'm happy for you. I'm glad yeah. you're excited about the new Sonic movie. I'm, uh, you know that that's good. We got some good comic book news this week. There's good comic news. I'm so a lot of good for... stuff coming out this week too. Yeah. Um. Man, where do you want? I, let's just. I. I mean. I, I don't know how you're looking last at week. Stuff, huh? I liked our loosey goosey format last uh, yeah, week. Yeah, loosey goosey is always good yeah. for me. Lucy Goosey. Uh, Lucy Goosey. Lucy Goosey. Um, Goosey. Issue number 10, Lucy do. Goosey. 
Yeah, I was going to say, uh, this is how we do the loosey-goosey. You say, you talk about something you're excited about, then I'll talk about something, and we can go back and forth. How's that sound? And uh, maybe there's going to be a little, maybe there's going to be a little overlap. I I doubt this there first usually one's going to have overlap. Yes, well, in some. Um, House of Brainiac. House of uh, Brainiac. Which is a Superman issue, issue 13 is coming out. It's the second issue of House of Brainiac. Um, and I believe Action Comics was the first issue, so it's going to be a tie between those two. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm down. I have been kind of waiting for Brainiac to kick back up uh, for a few years now. Uh, and I'm, I liked the Super Corp run that we've been doing, where Superman is now the head of Lex Corp. And it's been fun, but it's been a little, to me, low stakes. And I'm waiting for something big and catastrophic, and you get nothing bigger than Brainiac. The robot, sometimes robots, sometimes aliens, sometimes just menace. What has been one of your favorite moments in comic books? Like, where you're Ever? just like, whoa, didn't see that coming. Yeah. Ever? Just, yeah. Or oh. just like one. Doesn't have to be your all-time favorite. But just um, God um i'm jesus um that's such a big ask i you know what i read crisis on infinite earth like before i really knew a lot about silver mm -hmm. age i read it and it still hit me like a ton of bricks like that was just big and huge and honestly there's a moment in, in superman brainiac by jeff johns where we find out that the brainiacs we've known for like 60 70 years at that point were all facsimiles of the original brainiac and he gets out and he is juiced he's big and he's buff and it is just this drag out fight and i i i don't know why superman brainiac is one of my favorite stories it reminds me a lot of christopher reeve stuff with the art and it's, it's one of my favorite books nice nice yeah i think for me I, it was still recent it was that that uh, cobra commander that, yeah that cross like that that big that reveal hanger that big reveal at the end oh i was like wow that's yeah. an amazing moment for uh, comic books mm. uh and speaking of an amazing moment one of the comics that i'm kind of excited about is uh the three stooges centennial a hundred years of the three stooges that's so, what they're celebrating i yeah big villains combining with each other an entire universe dying brainiac Three Stooges. All of that. <laughs> that's, yep. <laughs> I think big moment. I think I think right. Yeah. <laughs> Little poke. I mean, I'm sure there is. There's yeah. probably been a Three Stooges crossover of some sort with. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And point. especially animated Three Stooges. Because yeah. they actually. Yeah, I was gonna say there was animated Three Stooges. They did comics. They did. You know, I actually have um, a set. I have a set of the Three Stooges. Like, I wouldn't call them action figures. But, I mean, because they, they're not posable, but they, they are figures. figures. I have yeah. three figures of them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, I love the Three Stooges. I'll admit. One thing that I think is cool about this is that Curly G, who is yeah. the grandson of Curly Howard, uh, is one of the writers, so that's what's really cool about it. Like, nice, it, it's one of the original Three Stooges, their grandson, yeah, is one of the writers on this because this book actually has like four or five different writers. But okay, it looks fun. I mean, I mean and I think it's still cool, like a hundred years of something that's yeah, that's a huge I, milestone. There's ever listen, I'm not gonna say all of Three Stooges age as well because no comedy, especially the last hundred years doesn't always age the greatest but there's something about slapstick and there's something about the three stooges back at the vaudeville when it was just shemp mm -hmm. and uh larry and mo to when curly came on and it's there's something about it you know that's yeah. kind of always there yep oh i agree yeah and i think for yeah. me i'm probably biased because as a comedian i also collect a lot of comedic like memorabilia so yeah posters with signatures i yep. have a lot of the toys that I have are from uh, not there. A lot of times they're from like comedy movies and yeah. like most of my Funko pops are comedic actors, things like that. Yeah. So I'm probably a little, uh little uh, biased, but yeah. I'm excited for it. I can so, get down for a good fun. Three Stooges. 
Can I ask you a question? Do you have a hard time laughing at a comic book? Uh, no. I mean, if it no? makes me laugh, if it uh, makes a lot of times though, a comic book won't make me laugh audibly. Like, yeah, I'm reading it, I'll laugh. I'll be like, it's funny. <clears throat> but if it does make me laugh audibly, uh, that's even greater. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I've been reading a comic and started laughing. Something. It. <sighs> it's always hard to make me laugh unless I'm watching a stand-up show and I like am being supportive of the comic, but like comics have always been hit or miss, but if a comic can get me going, it can mm-hmm. get me, ri- but often it's the comic that doesn't describe itself as a humor book and just throws in a joke. Oh like, yeah. Throws in a random joke. That's yeah. it. I don't yeah. think I've laughed at a Deadpool book. I can like appreciate the humor. Like I don't always laugh yeah. at stuff, but like if I'm reading a book and there's something funny happens, I appreciate that yes. humor. But it doesn't necessarily make me laugh. Yes. Actually, there's one book that's made me laugh that is a humor book. One I've read Mad for years. Like I'm not Mad doesn't count. The Adventures of Jimmy Olsen. Oh. It's a silly, goofy book, and I, I highly recommend it. There's a joke where they say that, like, uh, Jimmy Olsen was blowing up on CNN. They went, CNN? Well, Gorilla CNN. And it just hard cuts to Gorilla CNN, which is just a gorilla. And I think uh-huh. I just go, ook, 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 ook. And I go, yeah, it's great. No, that's a that's winner. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, I think this is a book that you're, we're both going to be excited about. Which one? Moon Man number two. Yeah, I've been waiting on bated breath. Yes, so much. That's so excited for that one. Uh, yeah, and I can't wait for the new music that comes out with I, it. Yeah, I was just going to say, I wonder what what the song will be that drops to go with it. Yeah. If you're, you know, if you're new to the listening to our little podcast, our little show, and you're not familiar with Moon Man, Moon Man is a fantastic uh book about an astronaut written by kid cuddy yep. um and then he's been releasing songs as kind of a, a comp uh, not a compilation but a companion, companion to the yeah. comic books and so yeah so i'm excited to see what yeah. what he releases it's gonna be cool it's gonna be a good one um i am also excited for wonder woman number eight um because it looks like it's the start of a new arc. Last month was filler, which means this one, new story arc, we're going in for it. I'm down. Uh, yeah. Honestly, just simple. Like, it's a good mm-hmm. place to start. Yep. And if yeah. you're a Hulk fan, you're getting a new Hulk. Giant I, size Hulk, number one. Here, Also, even reverse of that. If you're not a Hulk fan, all right, it's been a long time since you've read a Hulk book. This is a great one because, like, hey, what what does giant size mean in uh, Marvel term? Because uh, what it means is you get like an original story may, uh, by someone who's not writing the current, you know, run, uh, and then you get an older book. Like mm-hmm. a good example is we had a uh, Fantastic Four like a couple months ago, and we yeah. had an original story that took place in Atlantis, and then we had a new a newer story or a, a reprint of namor fighting a war and uh, the fantastic four fighting in the background uh and it's a real cool it's a it's a great way of getting two books in one um it's they're doing it because it's the 50th anniversary of giant size and honestly yeah like especially also hulk is just a fun character you can throw him in anything well yeah it's a fun one to like get into comics like to read like yeah. You know, it, you don't have to have a big elaborate storyline to enjoy, you know, like background no. story to enjoy the Hulk. You also don't need to know. I I don't know if you need to know a lot about Hulk to really get Hulk. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly yeah. what I'm trying to say. You he don't did. need to know a lot about that character to enjoy a good book, a, a Hulk book. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. Honestly, Spectacular Spider-Man. Since we're on uh, Marvel, I've been kind of excited and interested. I need to pick up issue one. But uh, it's just Miles and Peter. And they, like, like yeah, I read the synopsis. They meet up at the coffee scene. And, like, what I like about superheroes, and I don't know if this is what you like about You don't read a lot of superheroes, but maybe what you like about comics 
is yeah, I love the big moments. I love them catching the bad guy. I love mm-hmm. the fights. I love like there's a filler issue in Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman and Batman uh, and Superman they just hang out and they they make fun of Batman a little bit and they just <laughs> they just chill. Like I, those are my favorite moments. Like like they're just kind of goofing around. <laughs> Ah, I love that. Speaking yeah. of goofing around, this just reminded me. So I have this comic book sitting here, and yeah. this is, it's a one shot that came out. Oh, uh, the Saturday shot. morning, the Saturday morning adventures, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, and it's the April special. Yeah, I saw that, that. came out in April. Yeah, uh, I was like, oh, that was clever. <laughs> That's clever. Who's the duck on it? I love I'm a good duck sure. character. Cause that's a uh, toy. Yeah, I don't remember the duck's name, but I remember him from the the toys. I remember yeah. the toy. Yeah, I don't remember his name, but but yeah. So that uh, I it just happened to be sitting next to me, and you're talking about that. And I was like, speaking yeah. of fun, <laughs> just little moments. Like those are the best parts. Like yes, everyone loves the big moments, but you know what's also cool? Just. Co- have a little dudes. fun yeah have a little fun oh. um, uh tim seeley has a new book coming out uh he's got he's writing a dark stalkers it's dark stalkers oh. wait uh, what jetta number one yeah oh and that looks pretty good too i love dark stalkers i oh i'm in oh Probably. yeah i mean i might i have to see what the art looks like and and really because sometimes that's, that's I'm not fair. as familiar with Dark Stalkers, uh, but I, yeah, it does look. But one thing I will say, Tim Seeley's one of my favorite comic book writers. So really, yeah, well, I, I, I read a lot of his stuff. I'm a big cap. I don't know if you can tell by the big Mega Man Ten poster that's behind me, but I'm a big Capcom mark. Mm-hmm. Like I'm terrible at fighting games. I love watching fighting games. Um. <laughs> Because that's what that is, right? That's a fighting it, game, Dark Stalkers. Well, it's a, yeah. or more a, importantly, and this is for all my FGC fans, both of you. Um, Dark Stalkers is dead. Dark Stalkers is the dead game that is never ever coming out ever again. No matter how many times Capcom will say it will, it is dead. But it's <laughs> horror themed. It is, and it's like goofy and it's big, but it's also like kind of sexy and kind of violent. And it's it's it was the coolest, most technical fighting game at the time before Third Strike. And it's such a cool horror theme game that I'm so cool to see all this stuff. And Udon makes some cool stuff with the with the Capcom comics over a Street Fighter side. I'm down. Like it got you for the writer. It got me because yeah, I like Darkstalkers. Because it's Darkstalkers. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I see. Uh, and then another book that I think I might. This might be the one I'm the most excited for as far as new books come out. Of course, I have yeah. my pull list, and there's some stuff on there that I'm excited about, but. This looks really good. The, the cover on this is just gorgeous, but it's uh, Blown Away. Or Blow Away. Blow Away blow number away? one comes out. Yeah, Blow Away. Okay. Uh, written by Zach Thompson. Art by Niccolo Izzo and the cover artist Annie Wu. And yeah, these covers look gorgeous. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the, the little synopsis of the book is... Uh, um, an unyielding wildlife photographer, Bryn Radigan, isolated in a remote cold of Baffin Island, sees something she can't unsee. An argument followed by an outburst of intense violence between two nearby climbers. Did she just witness a murder? In a frantic search for the truth, Bryn discovers just what she's looking for. But little does she know that more than the silent white of winter is keeping her company. So, yeah. So, it seems okay. kind of like a murder, maybe like a murder mystery, suspense type thing. But the cover art looks amazing. Yeah. And here's the thing. You, cover arts just kind of sell it. Like Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. Like, okay, uh, I want to pick up because the writer is Scott Snyder. And the covers remind me very Flash Gordon- pulpy which will get me pretty quickly is dudley datson and the forever machine <laughs> um I've, i love pulpy actiony potentially goofy like 
it's a it's about a boy with his corgi. He invents stuff, and it looks like he's running through time and space. And yeah, well, yeah, and that does look it does look yeah, fun. Yeah, I mean, you can never go wrong with a good like sci fi adventure like that. No, and again, there's space travel. Uh, uh, Mad Cow is writing a new uh, Flash Gordon book coming out in the future, ooh, so I will get that. Fun. They're also bringing out, and I think it's later this month, um, Dick Tracy. And I'm Ooh. also going to pick up Dick Tracy when that comes out later this month. Um, oh, yeah. Dick Tracy. You can, Dick Tracy is always fun. Yeah. I I was doing a There's gig. There's a new out. Assassin's Creed coming out, too, speaking no way. of video games. <laughs> Who's doing that? Yeah. Uh, Assassin's Creed The Fall, number one. Okay. And it is written by Cameron Stewart and Carl Kershaw. Okay. And Nadine Thomas is the colorist and art by Serge Laponte. Okay. Oh no, he's the letter 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 er and editor. Mm. And then Got the it. artist is R. Moy. Nice. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh who uh who who's publishing that? This is being published by Massive Publishing. I don't know them. That's kind of fun. I don't know either. I like that. Yeah. All right. Huh. But, yeah, there's some fun stuff coming out. There's like always, I mean, always fun stuff. And yeah, I uh, just trying to look through and see if there's any other. I mean, obviously, you know, just kind of do like a quick speed through because we should start Dark wrapping Wing up. Duck and the Justice Ducks. Yep, Cobra yep. Commander number four, four, which I'm 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 a little behind on. Yeah, um, uh, some facsimiles. We got Amazing Spider-Man two fifty five and Crisis on Infinite Earth number one. Um, Pick up the ladder. That art is gorgeous. Uh, now you got uh, Fall of the House of X. Yep. Coming out. Uh, we got a new Rick and Morty book coming out. Yep. Uh, new gar Gargoyles coming out. Yep. Uh, Thunder uh, Thundercats number three. Uh, and. Oh, Helen of uh, Windhorn number two. Comes yes. Out. Yep. Number two. So, uh, and I think a second printing of that's of number one's coming out soon. So you're good. Uh, oh, I got the first issue, so I just you did okay. Read. Good, I got good. it. I just hadn't read it yet. Read it. It's real good. It's good for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm um, no. I got to read a lot of stuff, my man. I yeah. got to read a lot of stuff. Uh, there's a uh, new. Dune in fact, book. I'm going to Tulsa this weekend for a uh, little getaway. I don't really have shows or anything, but I'm not driving. Uh, somebody else is driving, so I'm gonna have like just like ten hours of reading i'm gonna be i'm gonna bring a bunch of books with me and i'm gonna be catching up on yes. some reading yes do it do that's it a, well that that's exactly what what's gonna happen yes gawk over the art <laughs> like that's I, the art is gorgeous another uh, one that looks kind of fun is love me a romance story by mad cave studios okay the cover on that looks pretty fun pretty cool All it's right. like a Taxi cab in New York. <laughs> okay. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Okay. I'm down. All right. Yeah, that ain't one. I that would be one I'd have to just take a quick. Uh, I gander to see. Yeah, I get that. Um, awesome. Uh, well, Dan, I hope you have fun in Tulsa. Take pictures for me. Oh, I will. I'm sorry. I'm just looking to see if there's anything yeah. else. Yeah, we got Spawn, Spellweaver. Yep. Yeah. Bunch of different Star Trek, Star Wars coming yep. out. Yep. Oh, did you hear about Girls. uh did you hear about yep. uh Final Decks? Or no, yep. Lower Decks. Lower Decks, yep. Gonna be coming to an end. <sighs> Gonna be coming to an end. As all things do. Uh, but five seasons in a comic is nothing Pretty to good. sneeze at. No, it's not. Yeah. not. Not at all. Yeah, no, and speaking of Ryan things North that should come that to comic. an end. <laughs> What? I said, Brian <laughs> North wrote that comic. <laughs> it's going to be a good comic. It's a good comic. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Well, we, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope we helped you find some great stuff for new comic book day uh, yep. this week. And uh, let us know. Uh, send us an email at panelpickspodcast, gmail.com. We're at most social media as uh, panelpickspod. Tell us what you're reading. What are you excited about? And of course, if you're an indie comic book creator and you want a little shout out or you want us to read some of your stuff, contact us through the email. Uh, we'd love to check that all out. 
you can find me and everything I'm doing on my website, debubcomedy.com. Yep. And you can go over and te- check out Jeremy where? You can see me at plum underscore Jeremy everywhere that's not X. All right. Do you have a website? I do. Uh, it's called jeremyplumcomedy.com. My calendar's not there, but I have clips and a bio and some pretty pictures if you just want to gawk at me. <laughs> I love it. All right. That's going to do it. We'll see you uh, or we'll talk at you or all the things next week. Until then, keep supporting your local comic book shops. This has been a Tape Deck Media production. Thank you for listening.